Previously on Alan Wake. I'm just gonna try to chill out and not think about that or, or getting murdered or anything, if you're cool with that. And now... Okay. I really don't think they can get to the power now. Thank you. That's a relief. Um, here's the keys that you needed. Thank you. Hey, I have to tell you, at the diner, I went there with him. The guy who looks like you, okay? I know I said that I didn't. Yeah, I figured. Wanna talk about what happened at the diner? There was this guy from the observatory, and he just attacked the poor dude, smashed his face into the tabletop a bunch of times. It was horrible. I, I didn't know that he was gonna do that. I swear, and I just ran. I just left him there. I didn't even try to help. There was nothing you could have done. It's not your fault. Well, he's dead in that motel room now, so excuse me if I feel pretty shitty about it anyway. You shouldn't blame yourself. I just didn't want to get involved. I have this tendency to just drop everything and run. You didn't call anybody, no police, person, no nothing, I, just like... I didn't even call oh, the just cops. let that guy die! I'm such a coward. If you'd called the cops, we'd have dead cops. He's not human. Do you understand? It's not your fault. But I could have tried to stop him. Believe me, if you had, you'd be dead. You seem to be doing a little better now. Yeah, I guess it just got easier once I got this thing off my chest. I just feel so guilty about it, especially because I didn't pick up on any of the warning signs. I just really liked hanging out with him, you know? He was smart and charming and funny and hot. The way you could be, I guess. Yes. <laughs> What's the deal with this guy anyway? He looks like you, he uses your name. Why does he do this stuff? I'm not sure myself. Maybe he's just evil or my dark half. He does a lot of the stuff I'm trying really hard to get away from. Things that just messed up my life. I guess all those murders don't help either. Yeah, I could do without the murders in the end of the world. <laughs> Listen, I need to get going. Yeah, go. I think I'm good now, I hope. Good luck. If it all goes well, maybe this is the last time we meet like this. God, wouldn't that be great? The fate of countless individuals hangs in the balance, threatened by the machinations of the Herald of Darkness. And yet, for a moment, the Champion of Light breathes a little easier. He has saved one life. For this moment, it is enough. And soon, perhaps, he can put an end to this. Returning to the observatory for what he hopes is the final time, the man feels anticipation and dread in equal measure. Soon, he knows he will have what he needs. Here we go, Hello, Alan. I was expecting you. I've already taken care of the imaging array, but you should still look into securing the primary coolant flow. With some luck, you may be able to light the area. Thanks for tuning in for the second part of our interview with Serena Valdivia and award-winning photographer Alice Wake. Now, Alice, we were talking about your husband, Alan Wake. Whoa! Is that a sore subject for you? Well, a little bit. Of course it is. The way I see it, we had our good times and our bad times, and on the whole, we had a lot of good times. He really made me happy. I don't mind being reminded of him. So you're, uh, you're over him? <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever be that, entirely. I still think about him every day. Literally. I still find myself hoping for... Well, sometimes I think I see him just standing somewhere, watching me. I think most people who lose someone they love experience things like that. But on the whole, I'm doing all right. Two years is a long time to adjust, and I'm not really the type to wallow in the negative. Two years? Well, I know there are a lot of stories about Alan. He seemed to have something of a wild streak. Um, that's not really what our show is about, though. Look. All that stuff really gets blown out of proportion. He had his problems, but 
It's really frustrating for me because people like to talk. They love to tell these crazy stories and they never really knew him at all. Well, the character he created, uh, Alex Casey, is a household name. And the book still continues to sell. There's been talk of a TV series, a movie, a video game. Must be nice to know that his work is still being appreciated by so many readers. Yes, of course, but I don't really deal with the business side. I leave that to Alan's agent. Well, that would be Barry Wheeler. Actually, I just interviewed him. Uh, he's currently in the music business. Mm -hmm. And he's also Alan's best friend. Uh, do you two keep in touch? Or? We talk regularly. Like I said, he handles the business side. I think we should talk about her film. Yes, yes, of course, you're right. I'm Eddie Rodman, talking to Alice Wake and Serena Valdivia. Yeah. We'll be right back. Okay, where was this note hiding? There? How did I miss one there? Alright. That's cool, though. Can you guys come break these doors open? No? Okay. Sorry, I'm used to that Alan Wake trick. You can't get me this time. Cherokee thing. I'm sorry, you were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay, so we're trying a different effort this time. That's cool. I'll try a different effort this time. Dang it. Dang it. You, sir, are really using up my ammo. That's okay. This gun's pretty excellent, too. Just want the combat shotty. Alright. Fine game. I can't have it. I got it. Got your rude little message. just an idea but they kept telling all those stories about you you already had that rep and then you disappeared mysteriously and then the stories about bad crazy Alan Wake came true and here I am that's the best part isn't it when that happens <laughs> you can always count on Cauldron Lake <sighs> I'm just as real as you are. 
Oh, we'll see about that. And I'm the improved version. No fears, no doubt, no weaknesses, no self-deception here. I don't let anything drag me down. I know you like I know myself. I know it bothers you that I'm like this. That I use your name, crawl my way into your life. But I only do it because... I'm better at being you than you ever were. Disgusting man. Why do you have a huge knife? What? Oh crap, I was dodging. Fine. We'll have fun then this time, guys, okay? Dirty like that, I'll just use up my sword flashbang. You're also British in Arizona? Man. Doctor? You know, I know physicists who would give 15 years of their lives for a chance to experience something like this. I'd imagine that being stalked by horrible axe murderers would curb their enthusiasm a little. Clearly you've never met hardcore physicists. <laughs> I'm glad you're in such good spirits, but... The signal! Yes, it's completed! Finally! If all goes well, this should be the last time we go through the loop. You know, I just realized that I don't have any memory of what happens after you leave. What does that mean? I don't think it means anything. If everything goes well, you just keep going. I don't show up here like this again. No more bad guys. Things go back to normal. Let's hope you're right. I'd love the opportunity to look into this in more detail. Looks like you've accepted the situation. I'm a pragmatist. If this is a delusion, at least my first psychotic episode is anything but boring. Really, Mr. Wink, <laughs> at the end of the day, I'm a scientist. I love mysteries. I love not knowing. 
Whatever else this might be, Indeed. it's absolutely fascinating. I In a strange way, uh, you just keep going on, on the the He is armed with his own words, and when the time comes, they will be enough, or they will not. For now, he's content to let the currents take him toward the final confrontation. Goodbye, combat shoddy. No. Miss it already.